Good morning. I am in a Dunkin' drive through right now picking up my coffee. I don't usually get coffee now um, before school because I have morning duty and I have to wear a mask and a shield and it's like impossible so by the time I get back the coffee is cold. But yesterday I had to do my morning duty in my classroom because there's a teacher who's assigned to stand in my classroom. I stand in a, a different hallway because I'm trained to take temperatures but there's two of us there. And anyways there's a teacher that stands in my classroom because there's two grade levels that use my classroom as a cut through to get to a certain hallway we had to use my room because we only have you know one long hallway and we don't want all the kids going down it so two grades cut through my room which leads to a staircase and then we had to use my classroom just so that not all the grade levels are going down you know one hallway there's different um, points of entry so that there's less you know crossing paths and stuff due to COVID so anyways she wasn't there yesterday and they didn't have a sub for her because she's not a homeroom teacher and I was like so is anybody gonna be in my room <laughs> so they let me stand in my room because I love my students and I trust them but also if I was a kid and I was in a classroom with a bunch of fun stuff in it like I have tons of stuff in there and it's all out and there's no adult watching me um, I don't know what I would do so <laughs> I mean I would probably not do anything but I wouldn't be surprised if a kid was tempted to like touch something and the reason the mo biggest reason that's an issue is because if something is touched in my room I have to clean it like that's a big issue with COVID so anyways um I stood in my room yesterday which meant that I didn't have to wear my shield because I only have to wear the shield when I'm taking temperatures and I was able to pull my mask off and have a sip of coffee every once in a while because the kids aren't coming in the whole time there's like little gaps in between while we're waiting for buses so I'm getting coffee today because I don't know if she's going to be here or not. And if she's not, hopefully I'll be in my room again. That'd be cool. And I'm going to enjoy my coffee. And if not, then I'll just have some cold coffee to come back to when I am done with my morning duty. But... I don't know, maybe I'll get to enjoy it today. Yesterday I didn't vlog because I was so stressed all day. Not really while I was teaching, but leading up to it in the morning and then the whole afternoon. Because election day was two days ago for the 2020 election. And yesterday they were getting vote, like counting votes all day. And it's just very stressful, but it's looking good. So I'm in a good mood. I'm really excited and like relieved, although really, disturbed that the vote is this close but that's a whole nother vlog for a different day but anyways that was just on my mind all day and I didn't really do anything when I got home except to lay on the potato like a couch lay on the couch like a potato wow okay hold on good morning hi Chelsea go ahead and pull forward thank you <laughs> would you look at that um anyways <laughs> so I just wasn't in the right mind to be doing anything extra so I didn't vlog and this week is only a three-day week we were off Monday for conferences and then Tuesday for election day and then we had yesterday today and then tomorrow and then it's the weekend and next week we're off on Wednesday for Veterans Day so it's just a crazy month November because then at the last week we have Thanksgiving break and just a lot going on but I don't know I'm waiting we're kind of suspicious that the district will go back to all virtual again because the cases are dramatically rising. Like, it's so bad here in our county. And apparently our governor kind of, like, it's crazy because our governor made national news at the beginning of COVID because he was like the first person to shut everything down. Like, he was in the news in China. They were like, go Mike DeWine. Like, way to go, way to stop it. And now he's like the worst. Like, he is just letting everything be open there's really not a lot of precautions I mean masks are required I know we have a lot more than other states but just coming from a place where we were like leading the way and now we're definitely not it's frustrating but anyways I just am kind of uncomfortable at school because there have been a lot of quarantine teachers quarantine students students who have tested positive teachers who have tested positive and i whatever if i get it there's nothing i can do about it but i don't want to bring that to my family to my mom my sister already has it so i don't know thank you yay today's the first day 
of the holiday cups. OMG. But anyways, I'm going to turn you guys off before I get out of this parking lot. But it's just, I'm kind of uncomfortable at school and I worry about my older staff members I work with and stuff. And I don't know. We all wear masks. All the kids wear masks. We try to keep six feet distance, but like with little kids, K to two, it's so hard. They just don't get it. And, and I don't know. If we went virtual, I just think that's in everyone's best interest because our attendance is really low. And then the kids who are at home, we can't interact with because we're teaching in person. So anyways, I'm going to turn you guys off now before I get out of here. So I did not get to be in my room today, which is fine. Um, but I did get a medium and in between buses, I was able to, you know, throw my thing off go and drink really quick <laughs> so I did enjoy it while it was hot which was definitely made the morning a lot better because I'm out there taking temperatures for like a whole hour but I also right when I got to school I didn't bring my camera out because I was really hustling to get all of my week one and week two grades in I was missing two grade levels I had not done yet and so I'm really happy now I have all my week one and two grades in this is week three, and I'll do three and four together probably. But I just wanted to get those in so that the parents see it and are like, oh, my kid actually has work to do. Because <laughs> I would say most of my students are failing um, because they haven't done any of their at-home work. And I've explained it to them so many times on their Monday Google Meets. It's all we talk about. And then in class, every time I see them, we talk about it. And if they're not in class, I send it to them on Schoology and we communicate through Schoology. So I've done everything I can. But when they see the grades, hopefully that'll be a good reminder to do their work because they can totally bring their grade up. But it's just that it's not good right now. And I never want kids to fail. So by putting in grades as quick as I can, that will hopefully send a reminder to do their work so that they can get it up and they won't fail because that's <laughs> definitely not the goal. But I have a lot more failing grades this year than I ever have before just because of the independent work component. Well, those two classes went well. We're doing ukuleles, so we watched a quick video of Fang E while I was passing out all the ukuleles since they can't help me with that this year. And then we played a song on the G string, on the C string, on the E string, on the A string, and then we played the ukulele breakdown song in quaver so it's just on open strings but it's the first time they've ever played it so they really really were excited about that and it does the same melody three times with a little like chorus in between where they don't play so after we do it as a class couple times i have three people volunteer and one person does the first verse the second verse and then the third verse which it's fun, so that's what we've been doing. Classes went really well, and then for lunch, I have leftover piata. I have some jicama, which is my favorite veggie, and then if I'm still hungry, pita chips with everything but the bagel, dip, and chocolate hummus. Well, it is now 8.30, <laughs> so I obviously haven't caught up with my vlog, my bad, but I, we had a crazy dismissal, probably the craziest dismissal we've had this year. I mean, I guess we've only been back in school for three weeks, but it was wild and I just needed to get out of there. So I came home, watched TikTok for a little bit, did a really quick workout and then Brandon and I got dinner and then we've been watching, we've watched three episodes of Blacklist and we're probably gonna watch a fourth. But if you have watched this whole video, Billy, Billy and I appreciate you and I hope you're having a fabulous day wherever you are.